Straight from Retro Game Repair Shop, I got the best Game Boy money can buy. And uh, today, I'll be building it. And uh, yeah, after this, I'll make a review. So this is only me building it. And uh, yeah, this took about one month to receive. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty hyped. I actually at a moment thought that this would never arrive. And uh, it's pretty obvious if you look at it, that it just comes from funny playing. So personally, I would never recommend to buy from Retro Game Repair Shop because they're just drop shipping. But um, my card got declined on uh, funny playing, the website that officially make these and have them much cheaper. So yeah, and it took a month to receive, which sucks. So yeah, I got this kit, which is blue and uh, yeah i think this will s look sick and uh, blue buttons too these buttons cost six dollars by themselves and they only cost two dollars on uh, funny playing but yeah my card got declined i contact contacted the bank and they said they i mean that they got scammed or something like someone got scammed on funny playing so they couldn't really let me buy but wow so this is the motherboard oh they even put on their own sticker retro game repair shop wait did they repair this no 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 yeah funny playing there you can see they just take it in maybe they test it i don't know but uh yeah wow this looks awesome wait this is up and down so this like to take up and down the volume great you know what where should i start i think i should start with the screen so if i just Let's see here. I can do. Yeah, let's just put in the screen. Yeah, another sticker. Even though it's not their screen, they just put on their stickers. Not sure why. I even bought with insurance in case it got lost. And it really looked for a moment that it was going to get lost. Because I ordered with uh, FedEx. And uh, yeah, a month? Like, come on. Ain't no way they sent with FedEx. But, you know what, let's see here. So I need to put in this under here. Boom. Is this correct? This is a glass screen, by the way. I just see if it's, yep, it's in place. Looking good. Now, I need to put in this. Boom, open the latch. Okay, this is a little hard to get on camera, I think. Oh wait, no, I can just do this. Boom. Come on. This might be a little painful to watch, but it's really hard to do this on camera. Because I like to have things I work on a little closer to my face, but here I have to have a camera in the middle, so it's pretty hard. Thanks for the understanding. Wow, okay, there we go. Now, buttons. Wait, no, there's no membranes. Really? Seriously? Oh, that sucks. So, oh my god, okay. Mm, I'll have to find those then. Well, well. Paid so much money and I had to pay $30 just to be able to import it into Norway too. Not sure how much this cost in total. You know what? I'll throw it up on the screen. And uh, plus $30 on top of the price I just threw up. I think it was about $120. But they took like $140 from me, from my bank account. Okay, now let me just find some membranes. All right, there we go. Okay, so this is not going to look as good as I thought it was going to look. But, uh, yeah, because I'll have to use these membranes because, yeah, they didn't include any. Okay, let's see here. Uh, that like that. Yeah, this is going to be black. Maybe this is going to look sick. But I feel like the all blue theme would look even better. Okay, this is pretty hard to get in, just hopefully the cable doesn't rip. Yeah, here we have the EXT port. Wow, 
they actually imported that. Yeah, USB-C. You know what? Let's just build this before before talking because this, I mean, this is just awesome. Let's be freaking real for a second. Wait, what? It can be in the middle? There's three modes? So there's not just on and off. There's also one in the middle that I do not know what does. Uh, that's interesting. So we got the speaker right here. Wondering how that's supposed to be. Oh, little silicon strip fell off. What? Is it supposed to just come out? What the hell? Okay, let's just put it like this. Now where am I supposed to put in? Oh, this comes off. Now put this in. Is that the right way? Yes. Wait, no, I think I'm supposed to take off this protective cover. Am I right? Am I right? Boom. There we go. Okay, that's interesting. There we go. So that's in. Now we have how many screws are there? Because this closes up. There's one, two, three. Oh, okay. So like like on the normal Game Boy. Let me just get my fix it toolkit. There we go. Let's take this piece. Yeah, they're just using the normal screws that they include with their normal kits. Which is fine. They're just screws, you know. I'm just mentioning it. Rechargeable battery. Oh my god, this is going to be so awesome. Should probably have tested it before I put it together, but... Meh. I mean, it's retro repair shop, whatever. So, they, it says that they tested it. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm going to go with that. What fell out? Oh, the power. Power thingy. I mean, for the price they charge, they should actually test it. Like, come on. Yep. Now I just need to put on this back, right? Before I put in the battery. Am I right? What? They're using a normal Game Boy color shell. Okay. Because this does not support batteries in any way. You know what? Let's put this through here. Boom. And then... No, other side, right, yes. Oh my God. Boom. It's a little hard to see, but I'm putting that in. And it's pretty hard to put it in. Boom, it's in. Now, close this up. Oh, it made a sound, I think. Shove that in there. There we go, you know what? Wait, should I just try to power it on? Boom, it did something. Yep. Wait, is it just me or is it No, it's just me. Never mind. I thought it was a little um, bent or like the screen wasn't perfectly in the middle, but uh, it's just me. Boom. Let's put 
put this in here. I'm a little hyped, but at the same time, I'm not. Because, I mean, I deal with Game Boys all the time. Like, if it... If I just had started this channel or something, I would be much more hyped. I would be like, what? This is so cool. But yeah, I've done this like a million times. You know what? I'll use the black one. I feel like the black one, like on top here, it's a see-through one, but I, I don't feel like it fits that well. So what I'll do is take it out. Boom. And put in this one, the black one. I don't know, I just feel like it fits better. Oh my God, it's a little hard to put in. There we go. Boom. Wow, yeah, this is going to look good. Test one more time. Yep. What does that mean? Yeah, there's like something in the middle here. It's like they're using the wrong switch or something like that. Maybe it's to switch to like Game Boy or something. No, but there's only two switch options on the shell. So why does the motherboard have three? It does make sense. I think it's just a money saving feature, <laughs> just to save some money. But there's no back sticker, I think. Yeah, there's no back sticker. Where's the back sticker? Like what? Why is there no back sticker? That I had to buy that like separately? That sucks. But yeah, I mean, this is going to be the ultimate Game Boy, which is awesome. Or the Game Boy Color, I guess. It would have been cool if it also could play like Game Boy Advance games. But yeah, I mean, it's not a complete analog pocket. Then it would basically be an analog pocket. Boom. Close this up. Put this in and it's done. Let me just give it a quick wipe. And boom. Let's see. Boom, funny playing. It doesn't register my game. What? Let me try that again. Ain't no way you can't use multi carts on this thing. No freaking way. Yeah, my multi cart does not want to work. So, you know what? Let's try Pokemon Red and Blue. Let me just find those. Okay, here I have Red and Blue, but let's start with Blue because I feel like that fits the best. Boom, please work. Yes. Boom, start. But why isn't it false screen? Wait. So let me see here. Can I push this? Oh, I can. It's like on the, wait, core. Oh, I can change the core to like Game Boy, Game Boy Color. Frame mix. Why is it this theme? Display mod X4. <gasps> there we go, full. Boom, now I put it on full. Core, Game Boy Color, Game Boy. Uh, you know what, let's have it on Game Boy. But then I think it will restart. Save okay. But look at the battery, it's tripping. It's doing something. Boom. Wait, do I need to restart to change the core? I think I do. Oh, yeah. Boom. Yes, that changed the core. How loud does this get? <gasps> it's so loud that it even vibrates. Like the console vibrates. Oh, it even has a save file. This is not me playing, by the way. Oh my god, the sound is just awesome. But I feel like some people might think it's annoying. Like the console vibrates when there's sound. And it's really noticeable, trust me. And now there's none. Like on, on the lowest volume, 
it still vibrates a little. Hey, I feel like it's just a part of the experience, but... Wow. Yeah, okay, no, it might get a little annoying. If you're playing on max or something. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's the build, I guess. That's really interesting. I'll have to test it. I'll put on a sticker. Um, yeah, I'll have to find a sticker if I can even find one for the tutorial or not the tutorial, but the review. But yeah, that's it. That's the FPGBC. Great. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.